The Ten Commandments of the Neo Testament are as follows. Commandment 1. Wag me, we're all gonna make it. Except people who don't read the simulation scriptures, they aren't gonna make it. Commandment 2. Preach World War III Jesus. Preach and you will help others survive. This is an MMS massively multiplayer simulation. The people you meet are all real too. They're real and they're lost and confused. Preach to them. Preach World War III Jesus to people. Teach them the simulation scriptures. Share your loot with them. Join them on side quests. They might be the droids you're looking for. Commandment 3. Don't be a dick. You do not need to turn the other cheek at every injury, but you should not cause injury either. You do not need to be nice to people who troll you, hate you, or hurt you. But you should not troll, hate, or hurt others either. Murder is forbidden. Don't be evil. Murdering people is worse than suicide. Murder will restart your simulation after you die, and you restart with a worse character, low stats, and no resources. Even if you finish the simulation 40 years after the end of World War III, if you murdered someone, you will restart your simulation. Commandment 4. Watch the NPCs. The true NPCs are the highest of politicians, presidents, bankers, and what you call the elites. They are NPCs programmed to push you, your friends and family, and your whole world into the last war, all according to history. Watch them for clues. Watch them to learn why starvation will affect everyone, where wars will break out, and when the horrors will begin. Your purpose might be to fight them. Your purpose might be to save people from them. Or your role might be to watch and share their movements. Question what they say. Share what you see. Commandment 5. Prepare for your purpose. Your purpose will be revealed to you when the time is right. Do not miss it. Prepare to see it. Prepare by studying the simulation scriptures. Preach World War III Jesus. Go on side quests. Gather mods and loot. Join others on their side quests. Keep an open mind to your purpose in the war to end all wars. It will be revealed to you at the precise time you need to see it, and you will know it by its resonance with these Ten Commandments and the Simulation Scriptures. Be ready. Commandment 6. Don't be a dumbass. Just because you're living in a simulation doesn't mean you can go around ignoring the laws of physics and natural rules of this simulation. This World War III MMS was created to be as true to historical archives as possible. This means it was created to be as realistic as possible. Gravity is real. Commandment 7. Don't get scammed. Verify. Always verify. World War III Jesus and the simulation scriptures broadcast from only one source of truth. Do not trust. Verify. Always verify. Verify the information begins on Nostra and is then broadcast to Twitter and YouTube. Commandment 8. Go on side quests. Explore this simulation. Try new foods, games, experiences, and locations. This simulation is not something to be feared. It's a tool for growth and exploration. Keep an open mind. You never know what kind of secrets this simulation is hiding, so don't shut yourself from new ideas and experiences. If you think you've figured it all out, you're probably wrong. The simulation is always changing and evolving. Find, create, and gather loot to level up. Stay curious and keep learning. The last war will test you. It will test every fiber of who you think you are and reveal who you truly are. Survive. Rebuild. Score high. Commandment 9. Don't rage. Quit. Suicide. Don't do it. If you kill yourself, you will restart. You will restart with fewer resources and worse stats. You will be forced to do it all over again. A hellish groundhog day. The only way out is through. This part of your life is your origin story. This is the backstory of your life. You need it for flashbacks later. You need to go through all this. Why? 1. To grow in preparation for your purpose. 2. To feel things before going home, the place of eternal boredom. 3. To create dramatic moments for the flashback scenes in your personal movie to watch when you are home. Soon everything will change. Life as you know it, as everyone knows it, 
will all change. You'll look back at these times as shitty as they might seem. You'll look back at them in fondness. Commandment 10. Live a little. This is a simulation. You are here because you want to feel things. You are here because you want to experience something. Eat that slice of pizza, pet that thing, touch grass, watch your favorite show for the fifth time, enjoy life. And when it's shitty, because shitty times are programmed to happen to 100% of absolutely everyone, then you should feel shitty. Feel shitty about yourself. Feel shitty about your life. Feel shitty about humanity. Punch a wall, scream into the void, have an ugly cry, rage against the dying of the light, and then move forward. You are here to feel all the things. Yes, you are living in a simulation about World War III and the horrible death of millions of people, but that doesn't mean you can't have a good time. Enjoy the ride. Remember, this is an MMS, a massively multiplayer simulation. Everyone you meet is a real person in the real world. You're all in this together. Some will experience death. Some will experience survival plus 40 years. After that, you finish the simulation. Credits roll. Your movie streams on screen. You watch it with whoever you want to watch it. Dramatic scenes make you think. Bloopers make you laugh. Then you get to pick a different simulation or replay this one as a different character. Remember, don't take this World War III MMS too seriously. It's just a simulation and you're just a player. Read the simulation scriptures. Preach World War III Jesus. Go on side quests. Start with side quest one, seed codes.